my name is Nina Means. I'm the director for ACC's Fashion Incubator. Today we're here with Celestina Couture and Anne Casper. Um, Anne introduced us to Celestina Couture, and we are just so over the moon with how our partnership with Anne has really blossomed. She's become an advisory board member here with us at the Fashion Incubator, but Anne is really an industry vet. She's been with so many companies, Coldwater Creek and Saks. Um, she's really brought so many amazing opportunities here to us at the Fashion Incubator. And so I just wanted to just first take a minute and say, Anne, thank you so much for being such an incredible connector for our department. I mean, you've really just change the way, you know, this is really becoming, you know, to life, really. Um, how did you and Celestino, could, how did you and Sergio meet, actually? Uh, Sergio and I actually sat on a panel um, evaluating uh, students and designers and their collections. So, and we just hit it off and stayed in touch through the years. But I have to say, I love being here. And I love the program here at ACC, and I really believe in it. So anything that I can do from my uh, connections and from my work consulting and just meeting different people to support the needs of this program, um, because I, I really feel that it's it's something that needs uh that needs and will gain recognition through the years because I really don't think there's any fashion incubator program in the United States right now is that really has the same vision that we have. Um, and there's there's such a fashion industry and such a, a, a fashion mindset happening here in Austin. Um, and the fact that the community and uh, local government and everyone is supporting it is so exciting. So um, thank you for letting me be a part of it. Oh my goodness, we, we wouldn't have it any other way. This is one half of an amazing team, right? You told me um, Cade is off. Cade's the other half that helps all of this come to life. It's such a hard industry one, but when you have somebody that has your back that completes the rest of the vision, it just makes everything so much easier. Absolutely. So let's back up for two seconds. So um, Celestino Couture, you started this business here in Austin or in New York City? You started in New York City um, and you really came off of working with the Metropolitan Opera and, you know, doing some incredible work there. Can you tell us a little bit more about how you started and what stands you guys are making on sustainability and being eco-conscious? Sure. So I actually started the company in 2005 while I was still at FIT. So the first collection I showed at New York Fashion Week, I was a junior at FIT. I known since I was a little kid, I never wanted to work for anybody or ever wanted to be jaded by the influence of another person um, on what it is that my passion was. So I only use things that have already been created to create what I make. Um, and we create everything in house just because I know everybody that's around me is not being taken advantage of. So I know what's going on in literally every step of the process. Yeah. What kind of advice would you give to an emerging talent? Well, the best advice is find what inspires you, even if it's not fashion, if it's art, if it's something other creative, and use it to change the world. I feel like if you just create, you're still a two-dimensional thinking person. But when you create with a purpose, like that's really where you take your craft to the next level and you can share it with the world. You can make the world a better place with whatever that inspires you. It doesn't even have to be political or representing marginalized people. But as long as you're telling a story that is the, for the betterment of humanity, like really that's what's going to propel you farther in your career than just thinking about a pair of pants or a skirt or something that's pretty. And creative people change the world and have changed the world throughout time. It's really people thinking outside of the box and thinking how can we make this a better place for everyone? And that's really how we have to think of the world as future. We're all connected, we're connected to the earth, we're connected to everything around us, and if we're not responsible for it, we're gonna be gone. So we're going to shift gears and talk a little bit more about Sergio's work with some of the celebrities that he's done. He's he's dressed Amber Rose, Kim Kardashian, and Billy Porter most recently. Um, I would love for you to tell us how did this look come to be? How did you do that? So there's a charitable organization that gives marginalized kids theater classes, and it's called Scenery Bags. And they purchase actually all of of the curtains from each Broadway show when it closes. Well, they kept uh, Billy's uh, 2013. He actually won a Tony for Kinky Boots that year, and they kept the curtains. Wow. 
And so they've been trying to figure out what they're going to do with them and working with Billy Porter. So we came into the mix and they asked us if we could make a look for the Tonys because he was going to be presenting. And so we just developed this amazing avant-garde like tuxedo, this kind of out of the box tuxedo for him. And I asked him, I'm like, can we talk about something that I feel like needs to be talked about, which is women's reproductive rights. So we actually embroidered this uterus on the back of the train so that he could have this discussion because it was at the time when Alabama, Georgia were having these ridiculous abortion rights. And so this look not only represents him winning the Tony in 2013, but also I want it to be a representation for all women. Sergi and I were talking just a little bit earlier. We we're talking about um, just also giving back to students. And, you know, we have a brand new associate degree for fashion design here. Um, we're going to actually connect you with Victoria Taylor, who's the new department chair for that program, because um, we'd love our students to have, you know, opportunities to work with you. But, you know, what kinds of opportunities are you creating for students? So I think the, the number one thing that I want to give back to students is that, yes, this is the hardest industry on the planet, but it can be done. And you can do it while respecting everybody on the planet, the earth, and still be successful at it. Well, this is a part that I'm really excited to share with you is what we've been working on here at the Fashion Incubator Design Lab. Um, so I'd love to take you on a tour. Are you ready? I would love that, my dear. Let's go. started with an opportunity with the city of Austin, as well as with Gerber Technology for about $13 million of equipment, hardware, and software. So we have 2D pattern design software, 3D pattern design software, product lifecycle management, as well as a cutter system. So our cutting table is a single ply automatic cutter. We've got a sample room, as well as a section in the back where our students are learning flat pattern and draping in some of our um, textile courses. So Sergio, thank you so much for coming by to the Austin Community College Fashion Incubator. It's a pleasure to have you. We love your business. We love your product. You're so inspired. You're making such a huge impact. Thank you so much for coming. It was such a pleasure to have you.